Hello friends and welcome to Christian Yoga with Ruiz Space. To begin our practice today, I invite you to come to Child's Pose on the mat. Today we're going to be doing a Lectio Divina with movement, which means that we will read scripture and give ourselves space to reflect on it with some guided questions. And as we do that, we'll be stretching our bodies with some very simple movements giving ourselves the space to really soak in scripture fully. Today I'll be reading to you from the First Nations translation of scripture. We'll be in Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. To begin, let's sit back on our heels, coming up to Hero. While we're here, you can rest your hands, palm up on your knees, or perhaps bring them to prayer center in front of your sternum. As I read, I invite you to just stretch your neck, maybe circling it, and then changing directions partway through, or just going up and over, making a rainbow as you drop one ear and then the other to your shoulders. For this passage, the first reading, I invite you to think and listen for a word or phrase that stands out to you, or in the words of Christine Paintner, that shimmers for you. Allow the passage to wash over you, listen to it, feel it, and pay attention for anything that jumps out. Always dance with joy before our honored chief. I will say it again, dance with joy. Let everyone see how kind and thoughtful you are. Our honored chief is close at hand. Do not let your hearts be weighed down with anything. Instead, with every step you take, send your voice to the Great Spirit, asking him for the things you need. And in all your prayers, remember to give him thanks. Then, the peace and harmony of the Great Spirit, which goes far beyond our small and weak ways of thinking, will watch over your hearts and minds through the Chosen One, Creator sets free. Last of all, my sacred family members, if anything can be seen as good and honorable, think deeply about these things. Things that are true and noble, upright and pure, full of beauty and worthy of respect. Follow the way of life you have seen in me, the things you have learned from me, heard from me, and received from me. Keep walking in the traditions I have passed on to you. Then the great spirit of peace will continue to walk with you on this road. And now let's come to half pigeon, bringing our left knee bent in front of us, our right leg extended out behind. And you can use your hands and support yourself upright here, or use this time to fold forward over your front leg. And as I read the passage the second time, use the space that follows to meditate on why this may be the word or phrase standing out to you today. Listen for why God may be making the shimmer for you on this day at this time. Where does it relate to you? Always dance with joy before our honored chief. I will say it again, dance with joy. Let everyone see how kind and thoughtful you are. Our honored chief is close at hand. Do not let your hearts be weighed down with anything. Instead, with every step you take, send your voice to the Great Spirit, asking Him for the things you need. And in all your prayers, remember to give Him thanks. Then the peace and harmony of the Great Spirit, which goes far beyond our small and weak ways of thinking, 
will watch over your hearts and minds through the Chosen One, Creator sets free. Last of all, my sacred family members, if anything can be seen as good and honorable, think deeply about these things. Things that are true and noble, upright and pure, full of beauty and worthy of respect. Follow the way of life you have seen in me, the things you have learned from me, heard from me, and received from me. Keep walking in the traditions I have passed on to you. Then the great spirit of peace will continue to walk with you on this road. Coming up, let's now lift gently with our hands and switch our feet, extending our left alongside the right behind us, and then bringing our right knee out in front of us. Once more, I would encourage you to mirror what you did on the other side. So if you stayed upright, do so on this side as well. If you did a forward fold over your front leg, go ahead and do that on this side as well too. In the space that follows this reading of our passage, I invite you to pray. What is coming up for you that you might want to say to God today? What is the response that you're being invited to? It might be a way that you're being challenged, or it might be a way that you're being encouraged. Always dance with joy before our honored chief. I will say it again, dance with joy. Let everyone see how kind and thoughtful you are. Our honored chief is close at hand. Do not let your hearts be weighed down with anything. Instead, with every step you take, send your voice to the Great Spirit, asking him for the things you need. And in all your prayers, remember to give him thanks. Then the peace and harmony of the Great Spirit which goes far beyond our small and weak ways of thinking, will watch over your hearts and minds through the Chosen One, Creator sets free. Last of all, my sacred family members, if anything can be seen as good and honorable, think deeply about these things. Things that are true and noble, upright and pure, full of beauty and worthy of respect. Follow the way of life you have seen in me, the things you have learned from me, heard from me, and received from me. Keep walking in the traditions I have passed on to you. Then the great spirit of peace will continue to walk with you on this road.
And for our final reading, let's come back to child's pose, allowing our hips to rest back on our feet, our arms to extend overhead. And as we rest our bodies, let us also rest our minds, resting in gratitude. You don't need to think of words to say, just engage the silent prayerfully, being present in this moment. Always dance with joy before our honored chief. I will say it again, dance with joy. Let everyone see how kind and thoughtful you are. Our honored chief is close at hand. Do not let your hearts be weighed down with anything. Instead, with every step you take, send your voice to the Great Spirit, asking Him for the things you need. And in all your prayers, remember to give Him thanks. Then the peace and harmony of the Great Spirit, which goes far beyond our small and weak ways of thinking, will watch over your hearts and minds through the Chosen One, Creator sets free. Last of all, my sacred family members, if anything can be seen as good and honorable, think deeply about these things. Things that are true and noble, upright and pure, full of beauty and worthy of respect. Follow the way of life you have seen in me, the things you have learned from me, heard from me, and received from me. Keep walking in the traditions I have passed on to you. Then the great spirit of peace will continue to walk with you on this road. Lord God, we thank you for your words. We thank you for your presence and we thank you for your great spirit that the great spirit of peace is present with us to walk alongside us and guide us in your ways. May these words resonate in our hearts, carrying us forward with them in the days to come. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friends, I invite you to flutter your eyes open, gently press up to a seated position, and thank you so much for joining me here today. Grace and peace be with you. Hey friends, thanks for joining us today as we connected with God through movement and prayer. Remember, making daily time with God a priority in your life is one of the best ways to grow in your faith. Now, if you enjoyed this class, we'd like to offer you access to our free video, Flowing with the Holy Spirit. Now, this is a part of our Getting in Sync with the Holy Spirit program as a part of our Rua Space memberships. It's a flow that will connect your movement with your breath as you stretch your mind, body, and spirit. So if you want access to the video, just click on the link below, drop in your name and your email, and we'll send it right away to you. And please feel free to leave a comment with other classes and practices that you'd like to see. And please like it and share it if you enjoyed it and think that someone else could be encouraged or helped by the video. And of course, subscribe so that you can be notified and practice with us with all the new videos that we're adding all the time that help you make space for God in your life. So remember to click on the link below, and we'll see you in the next class. Grace and peace.